So I'm just going to do a little bit of a diagram, just freehand of the diagrams that I use are often just to explain things to patients. First of all, I'm just going to illustrate um, the, this is the uh, natural breast shape. Uh, these are the clavicles and the nipples are in these uh, positions. So in a normal situation, the distance from here, if you put your finger here, that's a, a finger, you'll feel your notch, the notch between your clavicles there. The distance from the sternal notch to the center of the nipple in an average sized uh, female will be 21 centimeters. So that should be uh, 21, that should be 21, and that should be 21. So for a five foot five female, um, studies have shown that the, the, that distance should be a triangle with all the sides the same being 21 uh, centimeters. And also, if you look at the arm, that um, distance should be half the distance from the shoulder to the elbow. So the nipple should lie at that level with 50% uh, below and 50% above. So that is the ideal position of the uh, nipples. And in that case, if we have a relatively small bust with the nipples in the normal uh, position, this is from the side, um, we've noticed that distance is, is, is approximately 21 centimeters. So that will be obviously longer for a slightly uh, taller person. Okay. In this position, we have no breast droop. So what we can have, particularly for uh, women after they've had babies, is we can lose volume in this area here, but in other cases we can lose volume and we can have a droop of the breast, but in, which is a lowering of the nipple position. But you see in this case, the nipple lies above the fold. This is the, bre the breast fold, which is called the inframammary crease, the IMC. So that's the crease, and the crease will be here behind the breast. So this is no droop, and the medical word for droop is ptosis. That's P T O. Can I do an upside down S? I S. Ptosis. That's uh, breast droop. So the ideal position nipple lying above the fold. We just draw the fold here. Next position is nipple lying at the fold. Yeah, so nipple lying at the level of the fold. And finally, nipple, this is an exaggeration, lying below the fold. Okay, now if the nipple lies above the fold, you we don't need an uplift. If the nipple lies at the uh, level of the fold, we could consider an uplift. But if the nipple lies below the fold, if we do do a breast implant, the implant will tend to go to the lowest uh, part and we get fullness in this area, but we won't achieve a very nice uh, breast shape. So, in essence, if you are uh, this condition, you don't need a breast uh, uh, uplift, we can restore the volume with an implant alone. At uh, this case we consider either a breast implant for a very natural appearance, uh, but we may need to perform a small uplift just to uh, elevate the nipple slightly with minimal scarring. But in this case, severe ptosis, we would need to both restore the volume and elevate the uh, nipple. So I hope that's clarified some of the uh, issues about breast droop and ptosis and uh, clarified some of the issues about how a plastic surgeon would look at uh, the appearance of your bust.